excited to play with so many awesome artists uh, throughout the day, and I know this is one of the most reputable fest in uh, the country, if not, is it the world, probably? Yeah, yeah. World's, largest. world's largest, there you go. So uh, we're really excited to be a part of it. Uh, yeah, in 2010, um, we entered a field of 74 bands uh, that were eliminated based on fan votes. Um, so we got really present in like the social media and got everybody on board. Uh, and uh, fortunately, it got narrowed down to, I think it was like 10, and then 5, and then 2. Uh, and we were able to face off on live television uh, nationally, actually, uh, to defeat um, the others and be, be crowned winners. We won $10,000 to record with uh, Ivy Lab Studios um, in Chicago, run by Manny Sanchez. Um, good stuff, man. Performance has always been number one for us. Um, like, we, you know, I, I, I personally, and I think I speak for the other guys, don't like to go to a show where there's no movement on stage, or which reflects on no movement in the crowd. You know, um, t you know, in certain bands, that's their thing, and it works. You know, uh, our thing's completely opposite. Um, we really want to like light you up, and you know, keep you wondering what the hell just happened to you when we're done with it. And so, uh, it seems it's been a formula for success for us thus far. Um, we're at Summerfest, so. I'm glad you asked because that's actually the, like the toughest thing for this band in particular. Um, Scott's got two jobs. He um, he's a teacher and he's got he owns a lawn care business. Uh, Ben's got like 13 jobs. He's a he's a sound guy. He's our booking agent. He books for other bands. He uh, does sound engineering uh, for AV Chicago. I manage a bar. Um, Billy's a firefighter and Chris is a traveling uh, producer. So he's out of town like literally. Probably adds up to about six months out of the year, Probably, right? Yeah. Um, so uh, rehearsals um, are some some sometimes infrequent. Sometimes we just get the three or four of us together that we can. Um, it's the toughest, it's part, toughest yeah. part. It's it's the toughest part. Just uh, find find a time to get together, uh, songwriting and stuff. So uh, we appreciate everybody's patience with us. We know we don't release records every six months like some of the other bands, but we're trying. We're definitely trying. Um, well, Ben, I think, bleeds the Midwest, like, blue-collar thing more than anybody, um, as, as described in his, his, his day of work. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, there's something about being in the Midwest. I've been in a band in the West Coast. I mean, uh, I wouldn't say they're any less driven, but, um, yeah, I mean, there's something about playing in the Midwest, and there's uh, cities closer to each other, so it's, it's, it's a, you're more easily to, you know, be able to hit the road and not break the bank every time. So um, it has its advantages, I'd say, geographically. Plus, yeah. at the end of the world, we're next to the biggest freshwater lake in, in, in the world. So yeah. we're all right. Good geographical Actually, location. Like, uh, sorry. <laughs> I, th I think that a lot of the, uh, the Midwest stuff, too, is... Um, a lot of people walk into music around here with like more crossed arms. I think I think the market's a little tougher to impress people. Um, definitely out like on the other coast. I think like there's definitely more bands, but I feel like people try. Um, I feel like they they definitely accept new music more. I think once you break into the Midwest though industry, that people are really much more willing to come out and have fun, and then you get your word of mouth a little bit more than the other places. But you know, just that kind of thing. Hey. Thanks, Summerfest, for having us. We're Workout Music. Can't wait to show you what we got.